Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 at Franklin's Garage. Just getting here to the shop. Let's go finish working on that GTR that we got in here. Huh. It's kind of empty. Alright, let's buy some parts. I don't think I have any room for it. I got a bunch of old junk, I guess you could say. Yeah, I don't have hardly any, I don't, yeah. So, what we're, well, I don't know why I backed myself out of there. So, what we're going to do, F, B, okay, okay, F and B, alright, buy some parts for the old thing. Car takes your front shocks, doesn't it? Or not front shocks, but I think it's K and L. I'm not sure, so we're gonna wait on buying those until cars back together. Wait, I already did the front. Duh. Sometimes I swear I forget my headphones and attached. I re yeah, K and L. Okay. Uh, where is it? Front axle knuckle B. K and L. already did all that. Neat. Steering knuckle B. And this funky thing. Two of these. Two of these. And yeah, we'll get two of those too. And a couple of these. Mm, I don't remember what it is. It's two of those. Definitely two of those. We already got that bad boy in there. The one to the next. Nope, don't need any of those. That's right. We got. Did I already put everything in for the motor? Uh, yes I did. Okay. Start putting this thing together. Now I don't know how long the video is going to be tonight, but you know, it'll be fairly decent. I don't know if any of you saw the car that was outside when I got out of the truck, but uh, I have a Pagani. Pretty sure it's a Tempesta or is it just a Hero? Can't remember what one it is. But in the last episode, afterwards, I believe I went to the junkyard and I found it. Just sitting there, minding its business. I was like, "You're gonna come with me." it some service and justice and put it back on the road, you know what I mean? That's the way it should be. Beautiful cars like this don't deserve to be in the junkyard. What? What? Oh, I thought it was B. Huh. Oops. Hey man, where's my brakes? I need brakes to stop, man. I got four of them bad boys. 
However, I do gotta put my shocks together for the front. And I'll do that. So how are you guys all doing today? Whoa! Easy there, Bessie. Easy. Thirty five, twenty, twenty, twenty five, thirty five, right? Yeah, I think I did. Hey, look at that, I remember. Why is the front? Oh yeah. It's weird, front tires are always smaller than the rear. Makes no sense to me, but it is what it is. Two fifty-five. Forty. Always thought those were smaller. Let's go put these together. I always put the front wheels on first. That way then it's the rear tires that are on second. That way then when I go to put them on the car because I start at the right rear, I'm able to put the right tires on first and they're right there. Perfect. Now let's finish this thing. Where are you? Right there. My little culprit. See what I mean? That shows 285, 35, 20. Two of them. Because I do the rears first. Some people may not care, but I do. talking to
All right, guys, I'm back. Had to uh, do a little bit of family issue. So, like I was saying, this is the part two video because in the last video we already did one and we already did the, all the other stuff in this video what we're going to do is we is going to paint the car once we get all the body panels on what? Well, that's right I didn't remember which one it was the front sway bar perfect Wow, aren't you moving? Moving. Moving in the wrong direction. Uh oh. I need my bullshins. Thank God the store is right across the street, more or less. Put the front shocks in. Ooh, I got empty out my garage or my storage. Why didn't I buy any of those? Maybe because I didn't remember what they were. I figured I'd wait, right? I was in them by the wrong part and made myself look like a fool more than what I already do. Yeah. What? I didn't buy those either? Wow, I'm slipping. <coughs> Sorry about that. Perfection, got the K axle. Disc. Now we do pads and rotor or pads and calipers. Already put the rotor on. What? Did I not buy those? Huh. Guess I know what happened to that thought. Got right out the window. I'm only human. I make mistakes, you know. Oh well. It is what it is. And in the next video, we're going to be doing the uh, Pagani. Actually, when I'm done with this wheel, I'll take a little stroll outside and show you guys the newest purchase. Pagani. Let's see if it'll start. I think I started the last video. That's always good for the motor. Yeah, this is the newest one that we're going to be building. It'll be in the next video. From start to finish. And it is the Pagani Hira Hira I can't remember how to spell it but I spent $36,000 to buy it which I believe I already have one in my parking 
And I'll check it after I'm done this. And if I do have one, then I'm probably going to sell that one. Oh, why did I bring it to the car wash? It needs to go to the paint shop, not the car wash. Huh. No extra parts. That sucks. Bear with me here while I buy all the body panels. Wow, I think I just bought, what, three of them? I am so smart. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R-T. Why is it so sensitive tonight? Uh, what color should I go with this? I want to do black, but I've done black too many times on too many different cars. Yeah, maybe we'll do this one chrome. Uh oh. I'm missing one. Better go find it. Perfection. Huh, I put the bumper on first. Perfect. Should be 100% complete. Body, yep, 100%. What am I missing? Engine cover, large intercooler. Hmm, starts with the intercooler. Yeah, I, we bought one of those. I was supposed to put that in. Oops. Not really my forte on this car. I do like this color though. This is a pretty sharp color on this car. Nice silver. Another silver. It's almost like an alpine white. Pearl almost looks like a satin. Oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna choose this one. We're gonna go roughness all the way. We're gonna turn up the clear coat. Give her a nice good shine. Oops, keep that up. We're gonna bring this one all the way back. Go over here. Oh, wrong with the brightness. And it's very similar to what it was. But I can handle that color. Perfect. Oh, good grief. Yeah, my controller's been acting up recently, so I apologize for. Well, that was nice. Getting better at the suspension deal. Zero, zero. Nice. Give it a headlight alignment. <laughs> Already matched up. Perfect. Alright. Uh, I need to put it back on the lift. I can put the inner cooler in. Why I can't just pop the hood and do it? It's beyond me. Here we're gonna tint one of those too. Uh huh. So I was missing it. Perfect. 
I need the engine cover, and the seat GTR, steering wheel GTR, and bench. Okay. So let's look for these parts, shall we? I guess it'd probably be an interior, if I had to guess. There's the bench, GTR. Uh, if I can't find it, I'm just going to punch it in. Alright, I fixed I found it. Right here. Two. I'll take two of them, sir. Now, steering wheel, GTR. Right there. Perfect. It's kind of weird eh, how you can put the interior in this way up here. I put it in the car wash again. Yep. Wrong building there, sir. To the dyno we go. Engine cover. Oh, it's right here. I found it, I found it. Perfect. And it doesn't really match the car. Oh, we'll have to do for now. Now, let's see what kind of power we're making. Actually, first off, let's see what the tune percentage is. How, how much do I have it tuned? It's tuned at 1%. Okay. Supposed to be 530 stock, 433 pounds of torque stock. I'm doing something right. <coughs> That's not bad. So me really putting a tune on it. It's 982 horsepower, 788 foot pounds. Hmm. Let's see if we can make a thousand. I can normally build higher numbers off of those. Huh. There we go, we got up to nine so far. Let's try it and see where we're at. Hopefully, hopefully we crack a thousand. That'd be awesome. I understand how two performance turbos aren't pumping out a thousand horsepower. There we go. 1031 horsepower at 8700 8, RPM and 826 horse or foot pounds at 6000. It's not bad. Perfect. And that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And see you guys on the next one.